everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about sizing assistive devices. Um, as a physical therapist, one of my biggest pet peeves is when I'm walking around the street or when I'm in orthopedic surgeons' offices and I see people with poorly sized assistive devices. And when I say assistive devices, I'm talking about walkers, canes, crutches, uh, that kind of thing. And one of the reasons, though, is especially being on the patient side, I have such a respect for how much. Um, an assistive device that's properly sized to you can really help um, with a lot of things, definitely like energy conservation, um, other things for just general comfort and also for safety. So anyway, I'm very big on sizing assistive devices and for everything, for walkers, canes, crutches, generally the rules are more or less the same, but I thought I'd show you with a, with a couple pairs of crutches that I have. So. Generally, the rule is that whatever your, wherever your weight is going through, so in your hand, you want that assistive device. So whether it's the walker, whether it's the cane, whether the crutch, you want it um, so that if you were standing with your arms at your side, you want that handhold to be about the height of your wrist bones, so right around here. And so if you've got the cane, you want the, the top of the cane to be there, the walker, the crutches. And what that's going to do is if you have it around that height, it's going to put your elbow at about a 30 degree angle, which is, is pretty ideal for walking. You don't want it too straight. You also don't want your elbow too much up here because really when you walk, you're using your triceps, your, your elbow extensors back here, this muscle group to help push. And that's what's going to help unweight your, your limb. So I think I have all these, these ones pretty much um, size to me, but Pretty much any pair of crutches you get um, or walker are all going to have some adjustable areas. Down here um, you can adjust the height of the crutches and on these standard crutches that uh, a lot of patients get here in the United States, these underarm crutches, there's the heights are along the bottom. I find that just generally a good guideline if you're grabbing a pair and trying to figure out where to start. They're fairly accurate. Um, I'm about five, four and a half. I find that I tend to go up a little bit, so I have it set on five, five. But um, then you also want can adjust the hand. So this pair, you can open it up and slide it. Some have a screw that you undo with a little um, nut and then screw it back on. But you can see, so when you, when you stand, you want the crutches out, I usually say about about six inches apart. You don't want your crutches way out here. It's, it's a little harder to balance. You also don't want them really narrow because it doesn't give you a good base of support. But about six inches apart, a couple inches ahead of your body is where you want them standing. And you can see that if I stand straight, you can see that uh, that crutch comes right to my wrist bones. And you can see when I put them on, I got a nice little like 30 degree angle there. So that way, when I go to step, I push through with my arms and I can advance my good leg. Other crutches that you might see, exact same thing. So I've got my Moby legs, same thing. You can see that arm spent a little bit. Um, the other big thing I should mention is that with these axillary crutches, these underarm crutches, you want about like two to three finger widths between your, your armpit and the top of the crutch. I see a lot of people where their crutches are up to here and oh man, no, you're, you really should not be riding your armpit at all on the crutches. So um, once again, it's really, the crutches are going forward, you're extending your elbows, you're straightening your elbows, and that's what allows you to bring your arm, fo your leg forward. When I hear people talking about a lot of pain um, in here, I kind of wonder about um, how they're using their crutches. I do say, sometimes I get a little rubbing like through here because you're kind of hugging that crunch up against your rib cage, but really shouldn't be up in your armpits at all. And then the final pair of crutches I have are, Lost strand or forearm crutches. Same thing with these, exact same thing. You can see um, these, you want the cuff. You can see my elbows right here. So you want the cuff, a couple finger widths, maybe no more, no more than an inch or two um, below there. But you can see I also want my elbow bent about 30 degrees. If I drop my arm, my wrist is right at the, the handhold there. And same thing with these. You can see when I come forward, I'm bringing my leg and I'm just pushing my, my arm straight and bringing my other leg forward.